I promise you that this roller coaster trip through Yandy and Mendy C's relationship ups and downs will make you feel quite lightheaded. Okay, people, let's get started. Let's start at the top. Yandy, our female, decided to kick Mendy C's because she had had enough of his crap. Exactly. To the curb, you heard it here first. She's officially broken up with him. Can I get an amen from the congregation? Let's be honest. Their relationship was a complete nightmare from the start, and this man has been taking more and more advantage of Yandy. Remember when they were on the verge of breaking up before Yandy tried to make it work, probably expecting he'd change his ways. I've had hot dinners more times than I've had hot dinners, and honey, I eat a lot of hot dinners even after giving him opportunity after chance. Ways, but baby Messies was acting irrationally and like he simply can't help himself. Well, not this time, since CIS is in charge now that she's legally filed for divorce, and let me tell you that Yandy is going to get the full settlement amount, which makes sense in my opinion. Now, how about we take a brief stroll down memory lane. When Ems first joined the love and hip-hop New York team in season 3, everything was adorable. We witnessed the birth of Yon Omir and his first child with Mendy C's, as well as the engagement plot. For roughly five minutes, everything was sunshine and roses, but as you can imagine, the drama couldn't last long. Right before they were ready to go down the aisle, the Messies got into major legal trouble. We're talking about serious narcotics and trafficking allegations. Chili, even when he was imprisoned awaiting punishment during season four, he managed to make phone calls to Yandy because, you know, they had to keep the tea running for the audience. When season 5 arrives, you can, of course, who's back out on bail mess as the storm was about to hit. Yandy was out here beaming with her second child, Skylar. Fast forward to May 25, 2015, when Yandy and Mendices tied the knot. Live during the love and hip-hop event on VH1, the classic wedding special. But wait, in season 6, the other shoe dropped Messies was given an 8-year sentence and had to turn himself in once more during the season finale. This is where things get really juicy. In season 7, he is imprisoned. Yandy revealed some scalding hot tea regarding their opulent TV wedding, saying, Oh baby, it was just for show. It turns out that their marriage wasn't even legal. How daring. But best believe that Mendices continued to make appearances from behind bars during season 7, 8, and 9, as well as on the Love Edition special. Not to mention, he even made an appearance during season 7. On Love and Hip Hop with Yandy, let's fast forward to the present, where Yandy and Mendy C's are conducting business in the open and things in Chile are looking rocky. Atlanta after party life since drama in this world never stops. On a recent episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, the couple, who have already survived storm after storm, are now in what Mies calls a dark place. It's getting real, y'all. During a video chat, Yandy and Mendices had a heartfelt conversation about their baby. The feelings were intense. Yandy begins talking about her conversation with her girlfriend Rashida Frost and how she was reminded of her own relationship by Rashida's predicament with Kirk. Yandy reported that Rashida had told her that she was out here taking care of everyone else, but wasn't giving her own relationship enough attention. She continued, saying, Girl, I just don't want that for us then boom men. D smacked her with his candor, and man, listen, I'm at a loss for words. We've already entered that shadowy area. Fans have been tuned in to watch Yandy and M's relationship, and it's been like this for a minute. If this is how it's going to be, then you need to take this seriously. Ooh, honey, the tension was thicker than peanut butter lately. Encountered some significant obstacles in the course of Yandy's frantic bid for municipal council, and her heartbreaking choice, motivated by her infertility issues, to donate one of her eggs to her cousin whom she considers a sister. The pair has been at odds, and to be honest, Messies don't like it. This is largely because Yandy has been making big decisions without asking for his input, which has made him feel uncomfortable. The tension increased when M revealed how terrible things had gotten for Yandy, which surprised him. CIS expressed that she isn't ready to give up on her marriage, even if she didn't expect they would hit that low place. She emphasized that she couldn't imagine her life without him and that she couldn't let go. She also recalled that Yandy has been riding with him since 2008. They endured everything from men before getting married in that famous wedding special in 2015. D is serving a four-year sentence on the drug trafficking charges, managing his mother's drama, and handling the two other. It hasn't been easy, but despite everything, the women he shares children with have managed to make their family work together. They have five children in total, two that they had together, two from M's prior relationships, and one that they adopted. That's a lot of love, but there's also a lot of stress. 
In a recent Love & Hip Hop show, a producer asked Messi if commitment keeps him in the marriage more than love. His shocking admission that commitment is what keeps him in the marriage 100% of the time was his response. If that isn't a bombshell, then it doesn't have to be forever. I have no idea why, but we've become best friends. Since the beginning of their relationship, Yandy and M have experienced many ups and downs, including fictitious TV weddings, actual jail terms, blended families, and betrayed trust. These two have been through everything together, but it appears that Yandy has now reached her breaking point after supporting her partner through thick and thin legal issues. As a result, she has chosen to prioritize herself, which is really beneficial for her. Sometimes love is insufficient. You can ride or die as much as you choose. Yandy and Mendy C's have always had their ups and downs, especially with the complexities of co-parenting and past relationships. But no one could have predicted the emotional roller coaster that unfolded when rumors began swirling about Mendy C's trying to hook up with Samantha again. For Yandy, who has stood by Mendy C's through thick and thin, including his time in prison, this was a betrayal too great to bear. Sources close to the couple reveal that Yandy was blindsided by the news. In a tear-filled confrontation, she demanded answers from Mendy C's. How could the man she trusted and loved even entertain the idea of reconnecting with his ex? The tension was palpable as Yandy broke down in front of Mendy C's, struggling to understand why he would put their marriage on the line. Friends and family watched helplessly as Yandy Mendy's heartbreak unfolded right before their eyes. Mendy sees, for his part, seemed caught in a web of confusion. He tried to explain that his intentions were not what they seemed, claiming that his meeting with Samantha was supposed to be strictly about their co-parenting arrangement. But Yandy wasn't buying it. After all, this wasn't the first time Samantha's name had been a source of conflict between them. The mere thought of Mendy C's crossing a boundary with his ex was enough to make Yandy question everything. In a private moment captured on camera, Yandy could no longer hold back her tears. A usually strong and composed reality star found herself crumbling under the weight of her emotions. She sobbed openly, expressing feelings of betrayal, confusion, and fear. How could she trust Mendy C's again if he was willing to risk everything? everything for a chance with Samantha. And more importantly, what did this mean for the future of their family? To make matters worse, Samantha had been noticeably silent about the entire ordeal, fueling speculation and gossip. Some insiders suggest that Samantha had been waiting for an opportunity like this, a chance to come between Yandy and Mendy C's once more. For years, Samantha and Yandy have had a contentious relationship, marked by public feuds and heated exchanges. The possibility that Samantha could be intentionally stirring the pot added another layer of pain to Yandy's heartbreak. As the days passed, the drama only intensified. Mendy C's faced mounting pressure to prove his loyalty to Yandy, but the damage seemed to have already been done. Yandy's trust was shattered, and Mendy C's knew he had a long road ahead to repair what was broken. Friends close to the couple tried to mediate, urging Mendy C's to make amends and urging Yandy to give him a chance to explain. But in the midst of it all, Yandy remained unsure if she could ever move past this betrayal. But ultimately, you have to recognize your value, and it appears that Yandy has finally done so. Let's now discuss what this means for the future. Will Yandy actually go through with the divorce, or is this simply another hiccup in their difficult journey? And what about their mixed family? When contemplating a divorce, five children is a lot to think about, and let's not forget about their employment. With Yandy putting in moves to run for city council, there are questions about how this drama would impact her political goals and how messy who has been in and out of jail, will manage life without Yandy by his side. One thing is certain, though, the love and hip-hop cameras will be everywhere during this drama because, well, they thrive on chaos like this. I wouldn't be shocked if the drama surrounding Yandy and M's divorce took up an entire season. But here's what I really want to know. Are you like me? Are you on Team Menaces or Team Yandy? Or what do you think about all of this? Do you think she's making the correct decision in divorcing him? Or do you think she should give him one more chance? I'm just sitting back with some popcorn and watching it all happen. Possibility, what about Messi's? Two, do you believe he is truly devoted to this marriage? Or is he merely a passenger? Please share your ideas with me in the comments section below. Let's start a conversation. Also, don't forget to let me know if you're enjoying all of this tea. I'm spilling, so please like, subscribe, and click the bell to not miss any of the juicy drama I'll be bringing your way. Until we meet again, remember that in the world of hip-hop and love, the drama never ends and the tea is always piping hot. Stay amazing, be real, and I'll see you in the next video.